Hi there, I'm Darren Hansen. I'm the VP and GM of OpenStack Private Cloud at Rackspace. And I'm joined by David Brown, who is the Director of Strategic Data Center Software Planning at Intel. Um, we're here to talk to you a little bit more today about the OpenStack Innovation Center, which is part of Intel's Cloud for All initiative. So David, I guess if you could just start by telling us a little bit more about Cloud for All and where the OpenStack Innovation Center and the Rackspace partnership fits within Intel's larger initiative. Sure, the data, the, the data center cloud for all is born out of the fact that we feel there's 40 to 45,000 clouds that have yet to be stood up in private enterprises. And we're very excited about the opportunity that pr provides for Intel to help get those clouds up and running as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. But to make it happen, it's not happening as quick as we want, mainly due to the fragmentation of the software, the complexity of the software to, to, to use to build out clouds, as well as misalignment in the industry. So we're, what we're trying to do is do three things. One, invest in the ecosystem. Two, optimize for the technology. And three, align the industry along the lines of the, the OpenStack product that we, as we see it today. And the Rackspace collaboration that we have with Intel is very exciting in that we've got three, three stages of it. We've got a, a hiring of the, what's intended to be the largest development staff for OpenStack. Mm -hmm. Secondly is the setup of a 2,000 node cluster for development and testing opportunities, particularly focused on scalability. And three is a, is a training program which will get us stable, stable corral of individuals trained for OpenStack and trained for contributions to the OpenStack community. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, and from a, I would tell you that uh, from a Rackspace perspective, as we've been out talking to customers that are deploying OpenStack and operating OpenStack, um, when the Intel partnership came across uh, our desk, if you will, one of the things that makes the Intel Rackspace partnership so compelling is the fact that both companies care about that idea of the platform being adopted more aggressively and both companies realizing that in order to do that, we had to have a team of developers focusing on the hard work of fixing bugs and advancing features that would advance the capabilities of the platform to allow enterprises to move faster. Uh, for Intel, um, talk a little bit about, from an Intel perspective, why it's so important for your company to see the, the adoption go more quickly. Well, again, we believe it, that the market's going to drive the need for data center build out to, in a massive way, including cloud data centers, to support 50 billion users of devices touching the internet by 2020, right. and 85 percent of applications being delivered via the cloud. Right. So there's a huge opportunity, and we want to make sure that the ecosystem can address that opportunity because it, it only benefits the whole ecosystem as far as uh, the opportunity it provides from, from a revenue and business perspective. Right. The main thing I would want to add is that all of our efforts in the collaboration with Rackspace are intended to be done upstream. Mm -hmm. This is truly a community effort. It's for the benefit of the community, and we see that as being a key, key cr criticality to this effort. We're doing this for the community so that the ecosystem can benefit. Yeah, and for Rackspace, uh, the, the, the speed of the OpenStack community, the speed of adoption of this, uh, this technology, um, for us, it's all about fanatical support and delivering a services capability. And so we want the size of the pie of companies and institutions that are deploying OpenStack and adopting OpenStack. That gives us a, a larger community of companies that we can serve and provide an operating experience around. So both companies interested in um, the more rapid adoption of the platform. And uh, as David alluded to, both companies very interested in um, the upstream contribution of the work that we do together, uh, going right back up to the uh, to the community. Neither one of us, uh, as companies, interested in creating a new distribution of OpenStack. Uh, we want to see all of our good work uh, be lifted back upstream. So the the OpenStack Innovation Center. Um, David alluded to this. A couple of uh, key components. Um, there is the recruitment and hiring of the next generation of Intel software developers. And, and just to give you a flavor for that, the commitment Intel is making is to hire up to 100 people, right. predominantly in San Antonio, Texas, to make this a reality. That's a huge investment on Intel's part, and that should prove the investment, prove the, uh, how, why we see this as being such a critical effort for the two organizations. Right. And, and those developers that Intel is hiring is, are going to be going through a custom-built set of curriculum, uh, multiple modules that teach a developer uh, how to, first of all, learn the fundamentals of OpenStack, 
learn how to become an effective contributor of code to the OpenStack community, how to get your code reviewed, how to get your code accepted, and then the final of those modules is how that next generation of developer uh, becomes a mentor for the next set of developers coming in. So very exciting training programs that as part of stage one of the OpenStack Innovation Center, it's uh, Rackspace training resources training Intel developers, but part of our message for the community is that if, if you as uh, individual or institution are interested in sending people through this type of courseware, uh, coming to San Antonio to this physical and virtual place that we've created, there's a place where you can come and potentially in the coming months go through uh, that same set of training modules to learn how to become an effective contributor to the OpenStack community. So the second big part of it, in addition to adding developers and training, the second big part of it is the idea of the OpenStack Developer Cloud. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about the 2,000 nodes that are going into our two different facilities? Sure, we're, we're building out two data centers, one in Dallas and one in Oakland. Both will have 1,000 nodes, physical servers, running uh, OpenStack, and the intent is for the community to be able to come in and use these data centers to prove out their technology, to prove out their patches, to test at scale, which is something that hasn't been available to the community as of yet, and to really test and, and validate the, the enterprise features we're building into the product overall. So we're very excited about that. The first data center is open now. You can check out the website and make an application to use the data center. We do have a process that we go through to make sure that it's a viable um, effort and also that we, we get something in return for the sake of the community in the way of white papers, operation guides, and so forth. So you're giving something back to the community. Right. And that's really important about the, the data centers. We're right, with. so let me, uh, David alluded to the website, let me drop that URL so that uh, everybody out there has it. I'm sure it'll be on uh, other presentations and other publications as well but it's uh, go.rackspace.com forward slash developer cloud. So this is a landing page where if you're interested in getting more involved in the OpenStack Innovation Center, uh, either you'd like to receive more information about the training programs, or if you are interested in learning more about a joint roadmap of features and projects that uh, our two companies are going to be focused on advancing, and you're interested in <laughs> contributing and uh, volunteering your talents uh, to be a part of that roadmap that we are working on, or if you have ideas that go beyond our vision, there's room in that landing page for you to make a short pitch about some capability, some code, some feature that you'd like to have access to these nodes to be able to do performance testing, scale testing, um, or again, any aspect that, that we feel like advances the scalability, manageability, and performance of OpenStack, we invite you to, to come join us and be a part of this innovation center that starts with Intel and Rackspace, but hopefully uh, our vision is that it expands to other players as well. So I'm going to drop the website for you one more time. It's go.rackspace.com forward slash developer cloud. Um, and so, please come, else, please, please come use the, the data centers. Please come take advantage of the training. This is for the community. This is for the sake of OpenStack and making OpenStack a viable alternative in the marketplace. It requires you to participate. We're laying the groundwork. We want you to participate and help us make this a reality. Absolutely, couldn't have said it better. So uh, thank you for your time. Have a great summit.